Welcome back, my people. In the next few minutes, I'm going to guide you through the CPA exam jungle, helping you choose the best path to taking the big bad CPA exams. What's going on? My name is Joey and I'm the founder of Universal CPA Review. Equivalents have a maturity of three months or less. When it comes to taking the CPA exams, you're basically entering the Hunger Games. I volunteer as tribute. Equally stressful, but less dangerous for sure. And a little bit more math involved. So you want to know what order is the best order for you to take your CPA exams. Things aren't quite as straightforward, and I'm going to preface by saying that there is no black and white blueprint for this. In the end, you just got to pass four exams and then move on with your life. Run far, far away. Now, the perfect order for you will depend on your selected CPA exam discipline. Let me stop you right there. What if you don't know which CPA exam discipline is right for you? Totally fine. We have another video that talks about how to decide which CPA exam discipline is the right one for you to take. So let's say that you select FAR as your discipline. Here's your game plan. You're going to kick things off with the FAR exam, right? Financial accounting and reporting. Think of FAR as your intensive training ground. It's where you're going to build a rock solid foundation in financial reporting. And once you've laid the foundation, you can now attack advanced financial reporting topics, and it'll be more intuitive to conceptualize. It's also going to be more intuitive to then conceptualize management accounting topics and compare it to external financial reporting. And then you're going to have a much easier time following this up by attacking the bar exam. So now that you've passed the FAR section, you developed an expertise. You're set to conquer the BAR section. Here, your financial reporting skills from FAR are going to make your life a whole lot easier. You can now have a much easier time navigating through the maze that comes with business concepts and economic strategies that you're going to find in the BAR exam. Okay, so boom, you've now knocked out the dreaded discipline. Now you can head right into the audit section and regulation section. Choosing ISC as your discipline? Here's your game plan. First on the list, auditing and attestation, the audit section. Why start here? Well, audit is like the cryptic crossword puzzle of the CPA exam world. It trains your brain to think critically, especially about IT systems and controls, which is exactly what you're going to need when you roll this right into ISC. Okay, so if you have an audit background, you're likely going to have a much easier time with audit. If you're like me and started a career in tax, this could easily be a turbulent experience for you because audit is like becoming fluent in a foreign language for us tax people. All right, but at some point you are going to have to take audit no matter what. All right, I hate to break it to you. If you do have an audit background, ISC topics are going to be very applicable to your career because there's no question that this is where the industry is going. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if over time the pass rates for the ISC discipline are higher than the audit section. Okay, so unlike the FAR bar combo, I think you might actually have an easier time with ISC than audit. Okay, the reason we still like audit before ISC is because a lot of ISC concepts are going to nicely snowball off of audit. Right, SOC reporting and IT concepts are just a more specialized form of auditing. So once you've knocked out audit, you're going to finish the second half of your journey and you're going to finish it strong with the FAR section followed by REG. Okay, so what if you take on TCP as your discipline? Where are my tax people at? You're going to kick things off with the regulation section, reg. Why? Because jumping into TCP without tackling reg first is like trying to run before you can walk. Entertaining to watch, but not very effective. Reg is the foundation. It's the bedrock. It's the learning to walk stage. It sets the stage up for everything that TCP throws at you. So once you've got REG under your belt, it's time to step up to TCP. Okay, so think of TCP as REG's big sibling, a bit more complex, a bit more intimidating, but essentially cut from the same cloth. After conquering the world of REG and advanced tax concepts with TCP, it's time for auditing and attestation. Why now? Because there's no hiding from audit. Yes, on the surface, it seems like you can just memorize your way through it, but let me tell you firsthand from traumatic experiences, you can't. But you now have the momentum and some confidence from knocking out two exams with your bread and butter tax background. 
And now it's time to learn the foreign language. All right, you can't memorize your way through audit. You need to train your brain to play detective and understand the flow of the audit engagement and why it is that the auditor is looking at certain documents when obtaining audit evidence and ultimately forming an audit opinion. All right, but you can and you will knock out audit. And once you do, you're going to land on your final exam, which will be the FAR section. All right, by now you've navigated the tricky waters of auditing. So FAR likely is the victory lap. By now you've navigated the tricky waters of auditing. So FAR is likely your victory lap. Challenging, but you're ready for it. And with a tax background, you have a lot more mathematical expertise. So it's time now to know your journal entries and understand the common financial reporting topics. All right, so there you have it. Now let's go get the money.